Now let us study Samuelson's growth definition. On the screen, you can see the picture of Professor P. A. Samuelson, the American Nobel Prize winner in economics in 1970. Samuelson tried to remove the defect of exclusion of economic growth in Robin's definition. In his book Economics, he gave a growth-oriented definition. It's going to be a very big definition, like the definition of Marshall. So please keep your eyes and ears wide open. Economics is the study of how men and society choose, with or without the use of money, to employ scarce productive resources, which could have alternative uses to produce various commodities over time and distribute them for consumption now and in future among various people and groups of society. Vektigalo samuhamo, panam ubiyogicho, panam ubiyokadeyo, durlabho, vivida avishingal kubiyokavandadamaya, vipavangal ubiyogiche, kala kalangalai, yengene sadhanangal ulpadi pikamanum, ava yengene vidaranan chayanamanum, predipadikina, shastraman, economics. This definition emphasizes growth over time. It's modern and wider in scope. The definition takes into account production, distribution, consumption and exchange of goods. Hence, it is considered as the most satisfactory definition of economics. This definition has been accepted universally. The table on the screen shows the important definitions in economics. Thus, from the discussion about the various definitions of economics, we came to the conclusion that it is very difficult to spell out a logically concise definition. All these definitions change over time because of the science of economics is growing and its area can never be rigid. In other words, the definition must not be inflexible. Because of modern research, Many new areas of economics are being explored. That's why the controversy relating to the definition of economics remains and will remain so in the future. In this connection, it is worthwhile to note Mrs. Barbara Wooten's remarks. Whenever six economists are gathered, there are seven opinions. I hope all of you understand the various definitions Next class, we will meet with the central problems of an economy. Thank you.